What would you say is the most exciting part of getting this competition on screen? Because obviously there's so much at stake here. How do you, how do you resolve that in part two? I mean, well, it, it, it starts, what's exciting for us is, you know, you've seen all valleys dating back to 1984 and we've had a couple on Cobra Kai. So for us to do a world tournament uh, and one that's unpredictable and dangerous and crazy with 16 teams of the best of the best from all over the world, uh, that's a major challenge for the characters that we've had on our show for a long time. They're underdogs again, and it's really fun to bring these characters through this kind of a journey. There's a lot of conflict going on after the first five episodes of season six uh, internally on this team. So not only do they have uh, the conflict of, of new fighters uh, and old enemies uh, across the mat, they have uh, enough that they need to go through uh, within their team as well. And I love how the stakes just get higher and higher as you go through the competition. You know, what are Ralph and William like to work with? Because obviously at this point, you know, they know what they're doing. How do you give them the meat to, to keep going through the show? They're complete monsters. I mean, they've been uh, a nightmare from the beginning. Uh, they think they know better than us. And, uh, you know, we just let them steamroll us at the end of the day. Um, we can only, you know, act, ask so many times. Um, they're exactly what you want them to be. Uh, they are both just tremendous human beings, uh, dedicated performers, uh, hard workers with choreography and martial arts. And, uh, you know, we ask a lot of them. And as the show has been evolving, uh, we've asked even more. And they are tremendous mentors to the young cast. They are uh, they they put in the work at the end of the day, and it reflects itself on screen in the amount of martial arts we're able to see from them, and the amount of uh, drama that they're able to uh, to give us. And I mean, it's such a it's such a dark, gritty, and yet fun and uplifting uh, part of the season. So I'm curious, how does this fit into your scheme for this final part of the show? Well, we knew from the very beginning that we wanted to tell the final season in three parts. And the first part was about, uh, you know, getting ready for the Saikai Taikai. And we knew that the second part would be the Saikai Taikai. It would be the big spectacle. Um, but we knew that it was the middle part and that it was not going to be ending in complete resolution. So we, it was our last chance to have one of these big cliffhangers where you're waiting to the next block. And, you know, we just always talked about it like, well, this is sort of our Empire Strikes Back, um, you know, section. This is part two should be something that takes you on a big roller coaster, have big, you know, martial arts spectacle and end in a way that leaves you just questioning what's going to happen next. Well, the other side of this is for a show called Cobra Kai. How do you think that name reflects where the show is now? Obviously, it's evolved a lot from the first season. I mean, it, the, the fun thing on the show is there's so many different like switching allegiances. I mean, you know, in those first five episodes, we saw, you know, Johnny Lawrence, after all these years, put on that Miyagi-Do gi and embrace Miyagi-Do. He's now fighting or coaching, I should say, on the world stage under the banner of Miyagi-Do, while also basically saying to Daniel, like, after this tournament, we're doing this for the kids. We're in a bad marriage here, but we got to do this for the kids because this is an important thing for them. But once they kind of, you know, are uh, make make their way through this, I'm out. So, you know, the question is, is he going to what's Johnny going to do, you know, after this? Will he find his way back to Miyagi-Do in, in this? Will he do Eagle Fang again? You know, and right now, Cobra Kai, they're the biggest They're You know, they're our most direct enemies on the show. Sensei Kreese is the constant. He's always been Cobra Kai. Uh, and, you know, he's darker than ever on the show, but there's characters like Tori who we love in that dojo as well. So, you know, we, we love playing with the different dojos and the, and the allegiances there. And, you know, uh, people are going to see an explosive battle between uh, Cobra Kai, Miyagi-Do, and these other dojos from around the world in this middle five. Well, it, this part is a blast. I can't wait to see the rest. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you.